We are talking men's soccer NCAA tournament, and I'm with USD Toreros Julian Ringhoff talking about the Toreros' upcoming tournament uh, game against Cal State Fullerton. Welcome, Julian. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're very excited. You're a sixth-year senior, and you didn't even know if you would be able to play this year at the end of last year. So what does it mean to you to be going into this NCAA tournament and keep the season rolling? Well, yeah, it's kind of crazy how this uh, turned out. I mean, uh, the end of last season, I was uh, I was pretty much done, and uh, it was very frustrating because last year didn't go very well for us. So uh, for me, the chapter of college soccer was kind of over. And then, yeah, in spring I was informed I, I would get another season, and then obviously the way it turned out this year is, is extremely exciting, and it's, it's just nice to, uh, to go out on top. So, yeah, we're very excited about the, the tournament. Well, congratulations on that. And your first year at USD, your team went to the Elite Eight. What was that experience like, and is that something you can kind of draw on coming into this next tournament appearance? Yeah, I think we, we definitely can. They got the guys that were on the team two years ago, um, I mean, that was unbelievable. I, I'll never forget that, um, especially going into the tournament as a big underdog and then uh, beating ranked teams in, in three rounds and uh, then going to Georgetown, playing a great game there. It was just the energy we had on the team back then and going to practice every day was just so much fun for us and getting some attention. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was an awesome feeling, so we hope we can do it again this year. Have you older guys been kind of inspiring the younger guys with, with tales of that tournament experience just to kind of pump them up? Yeah, we actually always kind of use uh, tales from back then, especially since the beginning of the season this year didn't go as well as planned. We just need to win the conference, and once you're in a tournament, you always got a shot at going far. And uh, we, with the guys obviously asked, what do you think? How is this team compared to the team two years ago? And I told them, I think the team is just as good. And if, if we're a little bit lucky and... Uh, and play our best uh, best games, we can go far again, and so that's that's the kind of stories we, we keep telling them. And we just found out this morning that you were named the West Coast Conference Defender of the Year. What does that mean to you, especially in your final year? I know your teammates call you Grandpa, um, to kind of have that legacy to go out on. Yeah, that's obviously pretty cool. I mean, uh, especially after last year, I was so frustrated, and then having this, the chance to, to play a good season again, and then I actually didn't practice too much, and I wasn't sure if I could perform as good as I did in the last couple of years, and then, uh, yeah, once season started, it got better and better, and it's, it's just really nice to, to get a, an award like that at the very end of my college career. That's, yeah, it's awesome. And your team had six shutouts this year, which you were a big part of, the second best uh, defense in terms of goals allowed in the WCC. How much pride do you take in your team's defense? Um, I actually, I take pride in getting shutouts, especially, um, to me it's even more important maybe that we don't allow a lot of shots, and we've been really good with that this year, so... Um, yeah, I'm I'm the kind of defender that really likes to get shutouts. Speaking of shutouts, you played Cal State Fullerton very early in the season. It ended in a scoreless draw in double overtime. What do you know about that team? I know they're a different team at this point in the season, but can you tell us a little about, bit about what you know about that team? Um, they they're very good up top. I remember they had three really fast forwards, and then it was uh, it was not easy to handle those guys. Um, I mean, they got the, they got a red card back then, so that always kind of changes the game. We were up a man for like 40 minutes or so. We missed a penalty, so we had our chances back then. But it's the game is going to be completely different. I mean, they won three games in a row now, or at least in, in their tournament, in their conference tournament. So um, yeah, yeah, it's it's going to be tough. Like at this point, I mean, us two years ago was the same thing. No one expected anything from us, and so it's kind of similar for them now. They barely made it into the tournament, and. Uh, they're gonna be they're gonna be on fire when they come to to Torero Stadium. So we have to yeah we have to be ready. And as you mentioned kind of before, sometimes in the tournaments you know there's a lot of good teams, and sometimes it just takes one team getting hot or you know one small X factor for a team to really push them over the edge. For your team, what do you think that X factor that kind of you know that that thing that sets you apart could be for your team? I just think. Playing a good first game makes a huge difference. I mean, we know, like, if, if, if we win the first round, we're going to go to UCLA, and it's going to be really tough. But we also know that if we play well, we can beat them. So I think just getting this the, the momentum going in the tournament, um, maybe, yeah, win a tight game and take that momentum into the second round, and then anything is possible. I just think performing very well in the first game is, is, is going to help us a lot to, to maybe go further into the tournament. And final question for you, you had a lot of 
players, teammates showing up on those WCC All-Conference Awards list today, including yourself. And after a rough season last year to come out, win the conference, and head into the NCAA tournament, how proud are you of this team? Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely proud. I mean, as I said, last year was so frustrating, not just for me, but for the entire team, for the freshmen that came in, for the older guys. And so this year, I mean, we went from winning the conference two years ago to getting last in conference to winning the conference, which is crazy. And it's, I'm just, I'm just proud of the guys, how we bounced back, especially since the beginning of this season didn't go too well. But then getting into conference and getting those six wins straights, which is very tough to do in our conference. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud about it. It's obviously great for the guys to get those awards. Um, yeah, it's awesome for us as a team. All right, Julian. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, and congratulations on winning the conference, and uh, good luck in the tournament. Yeah, thank you very much.